Alright, Sabu, Mandem, Galdem, Wagwan. I saw this tweet, found it very interesting. It says, De'Aaron Fox is signed to 163 million contract and is rug pulling people in the NFT market. There is no limit to greed. Fox probably isn't evil, just idiotic. Some crypto loving ilk pitched the idea that he would be the face of this partnership, quote unquote, for a percent of the profit, and he went along without doing a second of research. At least, that's the simplest scenario. <laughs> if you want to give Fox the benefit of the doubt, EMOTIONAL DAMN IT! So apparently, right, despite making $163 million, obviously you still want to be, be able to make money. You want to, want to continue to increase your income streams. Fair, right? But apparently, Mr. Fox scammed people out of $1.5 million through an NFT project that has since been shut down. Insane. What did the product entail? I'm glad you asked. Sacramento Kings player De'Aaron Fox announced the Swipe of the Fox NFT project in mid-December and the high utility NFT collection went live on January 15th. The project roadmap promised a metaverse basketball court, interesting, a scholarship to University of Kentucky student, not bad, and chances to win an all-star gaming tickets, as well as much more to come. Sounds so promising, right? <laughs> This should be entertaining. The project had over 100,000 people in its Discord and pulled in about 475, 475 Ethereum, so equivalent to about 1.5 million at the time. Suddenly, on February 23rd, the project deleted its social media accounts and most of its Discord. Fox wrote in the remaining Discord announcement channel that, quote unquote, the time and attention that y'all deserve and that I wanted to give you all what this project requires was not known to me. And I overstepped and stretched myself too thin, trying to do this project in the middle of an NBA season. He promised to send anyone who bought more than five NFTs, which would be around $1,300, a signed jersey. Meanwhile, Fox made no apparent effort to communicate publicly that the project was shutting down. If you want to know why I go hard, now you see, now you see. Some of y'all say he go too hard. It ain't that bad. Oh, yes, it is. Such as his personal $288,000 Twitter account, where he had previously been hyping the project. <laughs> you're showing me. You're showing me. How unserious you are. Let your promotion of your project be as loud as your apology. But funny enough, he did come out to apologize eventually. He says, I want to address the NFT project we launched recently. The project launch was ill-timed. I delegated certain aspects to the launch of the NFT in an attempt to partner with professionals. We weren't happy with the execution and demand on my time and attention during the NBA season. Obviously, the comments are turned off. <laughs> comments, the quote tweets, every, any type of interaction with this tweet, Twitter right now is turned off. This project is about a brand that will continue to grow, but I have obligations that I must fulfill to the Sacramento Kings and their loyal fan base. They deserve all of my attention. As I stated previously, look forward to doing this again the right way and adding value to my NFT holders. I'm excited to learn from the entire NFT community as well the project will be updated at the conclusion of the nba season last few months i've been diving into crypto and nfts and i've been thinking about something special that i could do with my fans uh, so i teamed up with the digital artist for fun to help share my story while i'm in season and i just wanted to be able to connect my fans and some of the sports world uh, with what i think is the future so be sure to join the swipe of the fox nft discord to learn more as a consumer as a consumer, it behooves you to be very skeptical of any product or service you are buying that has no track record of other people having a good experience. All right, this is why when um, a company is first starting out, right, they'll give you like a sample, right? They give you a sample of the service, or they give you a free trial of the other of, of the software, just so that you can you can feel it out for a little bit, right? <laughs> 
but if you're about to pay something or pay for something or, or a service that has no track record of reviews no history do so with the intention that it might be it might be a trash this ain't about no love the whole thing was a setup this ain't about no love the whole thing was a set and obviously you got some side tire here i'm sure this is very this is very this is very sarcastic i don't know why people are upset at De'Aaron fox for the nft thing if i was one of his investors i'd be glad that i just lost money because it'd make me work hard to get that money back and then it'd motivate me to make even more money but i guess not everyone has the same grind set as me <laughs> <laughs>